it is 8.30 a.m., maybe 8.45 a.m. I slept for like five hours. It was okay. Could have been better, could have been worse. Meaning a few more minutes. And then I will go from this seat into that seat and keep on driving. It is day four. I slept on this rest area here, uh, somewhere between the Twin Cities and um, Fargo. I think Fargo is still like two and a half hours away. Uh, slept again on the passenger side, it was okay. Um, now waiting for the data from the dash cams to transfer to the laptop. And yeah, this is how, what it looks like. Um, in the back, it's all very messed up right now, but pillow and down there you still have the blanket. Let's take a look at around on the other side. This is where I sleep. I put the seat all the way back. Let me show you how far back it actually goes. You have just a little lever here. It's automatic even if the car is off. The seat's moving, 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 moving. Until it's, well, not really a bad, but it literally goes all the way to the back here. Let's see how the drive goes. That would be awesome. I don't know, Valerian would actually be cool with that. That would be awesome. And here I am entering the beautiful state of North Dakota. And right after crossing over state lines, I make my first stop of the day in the quiet city of Fargo, North Dakota. All right, we have made it to Fargo. Uh, just a quick stop here. Seems like a nice little small town. I'm uh, gonna get some food and just a little break. I thought I'd give you an update on the buck genocide that's happening on my front bumper. Let's look at all these dead flies and bugs and whatever else it is that I'm catching. Um, as you know, I drove the car from Philadelphia all the way here to North Dakota. Lots of miles, lots of dead animals. Let's check out Fargo. And here I am driving through Fargo. Yes, I also got out of the car and walked around a little bit. It seems like a very nice place, but to be honest, I'm just very motivated to keep on driving. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, we're here in West Fargo getting some gas, uh, got some drinks, and we keep on driving west. Uh, no particular goal right now. Let's just see how far we get. Uh, maybe I'll stop in Bismarck. We'll see. I'm always amazed at this graveyard that is my front bumper. I think it's just a matter of time until it's clocking something up. <laughs> well, well, let's see how it goes. And just filled with enthusiasm, I am back on the road. At this point I have my music blaring, so I had to mute my Gorilla Radio here for a moment while I was passing this military equipment. Driving out here on I-94 is really an experience in itself. The scenery is just unlike anything I've ever seen before. The speed limit is 75 miles per hour and considering this very challenging type of road I of course would never ever dare to be speeding at all. In all seriousness though, I'm pretty sure this is legitimately the longest straight line I've ever driven in my whole life. We are here in a rest area in the beautiful state of North Dakota. Uh, driving here is incredibly easy. 
it's just always a straight line. Uh, I have a picture, like a screenshot of my GPS from Fargo towards Seattle. It's like 1400 miles. And according to the GPS, the first 600 are straight. Then the two highways come together and then it's another 800 straight. It's, it's quite interesting. Uh, cars working perfectly fine as always. Um, really no issues. It's amazing how many thumbs up I'm getting for the little riding on the back. Uh, it was a great idea to do that. Uh, really seems to make the people happy. I always get a smile, getting thumbs up, all those kind of things. Where am I? I'm, I don't know, like 100 miles, 200 miles, something like that away from Bismarck. I don't even know. So we'll see. We have arrived in Bismarck, North Dakota. Uh, I drove around here already a little bit in the last 15 minutes or so. And um, yeah, very quiet town. You can just take a look around. This is a typical street here. Very nice, but also if you're honest, it's not really a tourist center, right? So I'll walk around a little bit, check it out, and let's see what happens. Here it is. Um, seems like this is pretty much the best sightseeing thing you can do here. Uh, yes, they do have a zoo and things like that, but, you know, which bigger city doesn't have a zoo? So, I'm still walking around and trying myself. Uh, happy to not sit, at least for a little while. And let's see how this goes. What I think is really funny is that with a lot of exits here, you have signs saying no services. <laughs> and here are two great examples of random things you can find along the road while driving through the middle of nowhere. First we have the world's largest scrap metal sculpture, whatever that means. It's called Geese in Flight. And then I couldn't help myself but pull over for probably the largest cow I've ever seen in my life. Okay, I'm here at the random gas station in North Dakota, somewhere after Dickinson. No idea where. Uh, they do have a little thingy here where you can order stuff, supposedly. Problem is, it's broken. Broken. Holy sh**. Holy sh**. Holy sh**. Holy sh**. Holy sh**. Holy sh**. Okay, I'm somewhere uh, after Belfield in North Dakota. I'm here at the Painted Canyon. It is absolutely incredible. Um, things like this is why I t why I made this trip in the first place. This is absolutely incredible. It is insane. This is absolutely fantastic. Okay, I'm just a few miles down from the Painted Canyon in a small, very historic town called Medora. As you can see, the buildings still have the old Wild West look to them. I've been driving now for four days, pretty much straight, and all of this would have already been worth it just to see this. I'm so impressed by the Painted Canyon. And I know there's so much more to come, and I'm so giddy and I can't wait. Holy 
I know it's hard to see on camera, especially while looking right into the sun, but the scenery I'm driving through is just breathtakingly beautiful. Growing up in a tiny country in Europe, I would have never even dared to dream about driving my own camera across the United States. But here I am, in the middle of nowhere in North Dakota, almost Montana, and I'm just loving every single second. It is so goddamn gorgeous. Okay, I just crossed into Montana. Um, I'm here at the rest area. Um, it is pretty cold actually. I'm almost freezing here. I'm not really sure where I'm gonna go next. The sun is setting over the mountains and it is absolutely beautiful. It is beautiful. We'll see where I go next. Okay, Montana. I'm here at Makushika State Park. Not sure how well the camera can still catch this with the light and whatnot, but trust me when I tell you, it looks amazing. It is beautiful. Bigfoot. It is Bigfoot. It is Bigfoot. Probably not. I met a, a guy here who was hiking. He said there are mountain lions and rattlesnakes. Rattlesnakes more than mountain lions, according to him. Well, let's see how this goes. Okay, I'm in the state park. I've been driving along the roads now for quite some time. Um, it is wonderful, it really is. I wish I was here a little earlier where there was a little bit more light. I will not go on a hike. I have never encountered a rattlesnake that was not Stone Cold Steve Austin and I have no interest in starting today. Here you are, look at that dirt, huh? Wow, look at this! Look at this. I'm here at some rest area in the middle of nowhere in Montana. Can't even remember the last time I had internet service. Um, I'm really sleepy and I'm cold and I'm asleep now in the car. If you want to look around here in the rest area, one sign caught my attention. We have rattlesnakes, so I guess I have somebody to cuddle with tonight. Good night.